Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again to take a look at our top 10 picks for underrated EDCs. Let's jump right in. Today we're going to take a look at some sleeper folders or underrated everyday carry knives. First up, we're going to take a look at the Boker Plus Atlas, and this is based off of the traditional French design called the Duk Duk. The main feature of the Duk Duk and the Atlas is going to be the single piece handle construction. So you can see this handle is one solid piece of brass. It is also available in copper and steel. And this is a more modern take on the classic design. It is still a slip joint folder and it's got a nice strong steel spring housed in the handle. We've got a blade of Sandvik 12C27, a nice high carbon stainless steel. And you can see it has a very bright polished finish on there. Full height flat grind with nail nick opener. And another modern touch on this knife is going to be the stainless steel deep carry clip. So traditionally these came without a clip. This one does feature that clip for secure carry. If you're looking for a practical knife that is very thin and lightweight while being rugged in the construction, then the Boker Plus Atlas is going to be a great choice. Next up, we'll take a look at the QSP Parrot. This is a great budget-friendly liner lock folder. We've got a blade of D2 tool steel and a classic drop point. Lots of different handle options available. This is a nice, rugged, canvas micarta in red, stainless steel liner construction, reversible stainless steel pocket clip, and we've got a nice smooth action with dual thumb studs for deployment. So while it is a right hand liner, it is still going to be a great choice for right or left handed users. And this knife just delivers a great value for the level of performance that you're getting. Next up, we have a knife from ProTech. This is the Newport Snappy Button Lock Automatic. And this is a nice sleek design for daily carry. We have it in the stylish tuxedo variant here with a blade of DLC coated S35VN. Black hard anodized aluminum for the handles. And on the tuxedo variant, we have an ivory white micarta inlay. It comes standard with a stainless steel deep carry clip and of course it is a button lock auto with a nice snappy deployment. So all in all just a great sleek design and somewhat of a dark horse in the ProTech lineup. Next up we have the Dmitry Sinkovich designed Concierge from Kershaw. They've actually produced this in a few different variations. Here we have the stone washed with natural canvas micarta. We got a D2 tool steel blade and this is based off of one of his custom designs made in a more affordable production platform. The canvas micarta scales are nice and contoured and offer a very secure feel in the hand and this modified drop point blade has a nice high hollow grind and is just a generally solid performer. The blade deploys on a bearing pivot via the flipper, has a nice snappy action there, and an interesting feature of this knife is the inset pocket clip. So you can see that the pocket clip is actually almost completely flush with the handles while in use, making it very comfortable, and then you simply lift the clip up to slide it into the pocket and it delivers a very secure carry as well. Next up, we've got the Mito from Lion Steel. And this is another Moletta design. Most of their knives are designed in house by the same designer. And this is the new aluminum handled version. So they did produce a full titanium frame lock version, and these are the more affordable aluminum handled variants. You still get the same great high performance Bowler M390 blade, 
shown here in their dark stone wash. You've got a floating backspacer, milled titanium pocket clip, glass breaker end, and this one is removable and replaceable with a flat screw. We have a hardened steel lock face insert for smooth and reliable lock operation, and their innovative removable flipper tab, allowing for you to choose either one or two-handed operation. We've also got a ball bearing pivot for a nice snappy deployment, or if you choose to go two-handed, a nice smooth operation. Fairly thick stock on this with a nice crowned spine. This is gonna be a great slim and lightweight knife for everyday carry while still being very capable for use in the field. And here we have an eye-catching design from Civivi. This is the Civivi Wavern. A bit of an older design, the Wavern has FRN handles that have a nice dragon scale texture, so very eye-catching design. The blade is a classic drop point with a high hollow. We've got some standout dual fullers coming up to this blade hole, which can be used for deployment along with the index flipper. Smooth bearing pivot operation. Another standout feature of this knife is a 3D milled titanium pocket clip. So some really great features in a budget-friendly design. This one also has Civivi's Sanmai Damascus blade steel. And I think this is also a bit of a sleeper in terms of performance because this gives you the look of Damascus with the performance of a stainless steel blade and then a hardened steel core and it actually performs very well in terms of cutting performance. The FRN scales have inset steel liners and it's got a very lightweight and ergonomic feel and overall is just a great value in terms of performance and style. Next we have another knife from Boker and this is a bit of a modern traditional. This is their bonfire knife. It is a front flipper that is based loosely on the classic trapper pattern. We've got a long clip point blade of satin finish D2, bearing pivot inside dual stainless steel bolsters with stainless liners. Here we've got the wood variant, and this is Babinga wood, a nice high quality tropical hardwood. We've got a partial steel backspacer and single position right hand deep carry stainless steel pocket clip. Liner lock operation here and a nice smooth deployment via that front flipper. And you can see you can do a fast or slow operation of the blade. And it also has the classic nail nick if you're into the more traditional opening. So a nice blend of modern and classic design with upgraded materials. And this knife is also available in a canvas micarta variation if you're looking for a little more modern performance. Next, we have a dark horse in the Benchmade Black Class Tactical line, and this is the Benchmade Fact. I think this is a great EDC knife because it's very slim and lightweight while having a rugged build. We've got full skeletonized steel liners with hard anodized aluminum for the scales, plenty of traction on here for a secure grip. We've got a spear point blade of S30V, a nice modern stainless steel with good edge retention and balanced performance. Phosphor bronze washers deliver smooth operation via the dual thumb studs. And of course, with the axis lock and a reversible stainless steel deep carry clip, this is fully ambidextrous. And I think this compares pretty favorably to the classic 940 from Benchmade. It is a long, slim knife with plenty of cutting edge for daily tasks, a nice fine point for piercing, and just a nice high quality build overall. Next, we've got a bit of a larger folder, and this is the Amalgam from Spyderco. This is a custom design collaboration with designer Brian Lai. 
and this knife is a bit larger for an EDC knife, but still a very slim and lightweight design that is easy to carry. You get a nice long drop point blade with a full height flat grind, satin finished S30V, and of course Spyderco does a great job with their heat treat on that. We've got multiple deployment options with the round hole and index flipper on a ball bearing pivot. We've got the Spyderco compression lock, high strength lock that is fairly ambidextrous regardless of the left or right orientation. So you can see here that I can easily operate it with the left or right hand. We've got peel ply carbon fiber over G10 for the handles. So classy look as well as solid performance. Instet steel liner construction for good strength and a four position stainless steel hourglass clip for your carry preference. So overall, this is a great design that is just very clean and capable. You've got a broad long blade with a high flat grind for solid performance. And we've got jimping and a full choil there for solid control as well. And we're going to take a quick moment here to campaign for one of my favorite EDC knives. I carry one nearly every day. This is the Spyderco Astute. And while it is part of their value line of folders, I think it is a great option for daily carry regardless. You get a nice leaf shaped blade with a full height flat grind, plenty of cutting edge in a relatively small package, a nice compact and ergonomic handle that allows you to have a lot of fine control of the blade as well. And just a solid and functional construction from Spyderco. A nice side note here is that this knife is actually also designed by the designer of the Spyderco Hungarian from their ethnic series of knives. And last but not least, we have the Cold Steel Range Boss. This is actually a more budget-friendly version of their previous design, the Broken Skull. So here we have a long Bowie-style clip point of 4034 stainless steel with a heavy stonewashed finish. We've got an adjustable ambidextrous thumb stud, triad mid back lock for a really high strength secure lock. FRN handles with some molded high traction texture on there and a reversible stainless steel pocket clip. So if you were looking for a lightweight, high strength and solid cutting performance blade, the Range Boss is gonna be an excellent choice. And this is available in a few different colorways, including this classic black. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and our top 10 picks for underrated everyday carry folders. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below. Follow us on social media for updates on all new products and drop a comment below with your favorite underrated EDC.